So the first thing you'll need is a piece of glass to your size or the frame to fit that you're going to use to fit the glass. Next what you'll do is take the frame and build it to fit the glass or cut the glass to fit the frame that you're going to be using. Now that the frame is built, what you'll want to do is put a backing on it and then you'll want to use silicone and caulk it up real good. Make sure that you caulk any hole, nail hole, anything. You want to get it airtight as much as you can. Um, the more airtight it is, the hotter it's going to get. Most people use um, soda cans. Today I'm actually using a piece of um, like metal. It's a type of metal. It ain't a thick, thick metal, but it's uh, for roofing. And uh, really you can use soda cans, um, any kind of metal or anything. It's pretty hot in Texas, so I can use this and it'd work real good. Um, soda cans, um, more draw the, inner, the heat through it and it warms up inside the soda can. When the sun hits it, the can warms the air in it. So, but there's a lot of different ways to actually build these. Um, this is just the way I'm doing it. The uh, only thing I can say is search on YouTube. There's tons of videos, different ways to do it. There's different designs to do it. Each way you do it, you know, produces different stuff. So, but this is the way I'm chosen to do it. So you just want to make sure now that you paint everything um, with grill paint because uh, it hits, I think, um, 2,200 degrees. It is. Or maybe it's 1200 but yeah you just want to um, spray it all down with black spray paint or the grill paint this way that it can hold the heat and basically so I don't catch the wood on fire inside because some of them can do that but it's rare but that's why you want to spray it down with all the the grill paint so it makes sure that it can't do that because that's what it's made for so uh, you want to do this without the piece of glass on it. I actually took this picture afterwards, but after you get done painting it, you want to put a hole in the bottom, which is where the airflow is going to go through. It's going to suck it up, and then you're going to want to put one at the top. Um, I'm putting mine on the side because of the place I'm putting it on the greenhouse, it's going to run right out the side, right into another spot that's already open. So that's just the way I want to do it, but you can put it right on the top if you want to, and it will work good, or you can put it in the back. Some people put it in the back but I'm putting mine in the uh, side. So just put it however you prefer, however you really need it. You can customize it to any way you want to. So on my metal, I kind of got it to fit where it's probably, it's real tight actually. And I just had to put, I didn't actually screw any screws in it. I just put two right there to hold it. And then on mine, I'm putting it at a V. So at the bottom, the air will flow up in front. It'll rise up and then it'll push through the hole. I might put a bigger hole than what y'all see. And uh, it'll travel around in the back and then go out the side where I need it. It's all going to push itself anyways. It's um, by gravity, basically. Hot air rises. It's going to push out somewhere. And while it's pushing out, it's sucking air in. So I'm also going to add a fan later, which will be in an update video when I go to test this. Because it's real cold here. We're having freezes and everything. And there ain't no sun out. So I don't want to do it on a day like this where... There's no sun because it ain't going to heat up. This thing is only warms up if there's sun. So, and I don't really hold heat at night, so this is more of a daytime heater. Um, only when the sun's out. So, we got the glass on it, and it's pretty much done. We're done here, basically. I don't think anything else I can do besides put a touch-up paint on the outside. I ran out of paint. So, it looks good, and um, when I go... To test it, I'll be sure to upload a video and we'll get some kind of heat measurement and see what it is. See what it, see what degrees it can get up to. And then I'll add a fan and hopefully later when I can get a hold of a solar panel that I run one. Uh, if anybody got one that's laying around, leave a comment below. Y'all don't want to. <laughs> just need one that's like 12 volt or something. But alright, I hope y'all enjoyed it.